our verse today is John chapter 3 verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Nicodemus was one of the leading Pharisees. He came to Jesus at night, probably because of his position. He didn't want other Pharisees to notice that he was going to Jesus. Nicodemus was amazed at the works of Jesus and came to engage him. Jesus seized the opportunity to reveal deep secrets about him and the kingdom of God. In our verse, Jesus reveals his divine identity based on the Torah, the Pentateuch, the law of Moses. In the preceding verses, Jesus told Nicodemus that he would find it hard to believe heavenly things if he had not understood earthly things. He then took Nicodemus to the Torah, which is his area of expertise as a Pharisee. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. There are so many truths hidden in this verse. We need to unpack them. The reference to Moses and the serpent. Why did Moses lift up the serpent in the wilderness? The people had sinned, and for that reason, God asked Moses to make the bronze serpent so that when it is lifted up and they look up to it, they will be saved. The Son of Man will be lifted up on the cross because of the sins of the world. The image of the serpent. The serpent was a symbol of the fall. The sign of the fall is raised on a standard to show its defeat. Jesus takes up the same symbol to show that he is the one who has defeated the serpent, Satan, on the cross. This is the reason why St. Paul says that Jesus is the one who has victory over sin and death and over Satan. The Son of Man is lifted up. Jesus is lifted up on the cross for us to look up to him as the people in the wilderness looked up to the standard and were saved. The image on the cross points to the person who brings us salvation, and that is Jesus. To be saved, the Israelites had to believe and had to look up to the wooden standard. In the same way, the cross can bring us salvation when we look up to it with faith. The very next verse confirms that. Jesus says to Nicodemus that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. It is not a piece of wood that saves. It is a person who hangs on that wood that brings salvation. Let us not be afraid to carry the image of the cross or to make the sign of the cross publicly as Christians. Through the cross, Jesus can bring salvation through us to others. I give a personal testimony. I was once in the school library and a lady sat opposite and at some point said, are you a Christian? Why? Because I was putting on a cross. What followed is something I didn't expect. Right there, she opened up and told me that she was going through a lot and asked me to pray for her. I counseled her and prayed for her right there in the library. Thank God we were just two in that session of the library at the time. The symbols we put on can invite others to faith. Are you ashamed to put on a cross or a Christian symbol? Lord, teach us to focus on you as our salvation. Help us not to be ashamed to lift you up wherever we are. Amen. And I invite you to share your thoughts and your comments on this verse. And let us continue to reflect each day on a verse of the Bible. God bless you.